Yeah, so it's a good question. The goal of OCM and any of these value-based care models are, of course, focused on value, which cost is a big piece to that, but quality is arguably the most important piece to that, uh, both to what we want to deliver to patients, but also from the patient uh, standpoint, of course, uh, going through treatment for their uh, cancer. Problem with quality is it's much harder to measure that than cost. Uh, tools to measure quality uh, from a payer perspective, like Medicare, is what we report to them and what they can get from claims. Um, and unfortunately, we might be able to report that we are asking about distress asking about depression, asking about pain, but that's not the same as a patient saying, uh, my pain is well controlled, uh, this is working well for me, uh, my depression is being handled, my anxiety is being handled, I feel good about how this journey is going with my oncologist. And those are the real questions we want to get at to know if quality is improved. Uh, survival um, is another metric that um, we're not able to really capture well with claims, especially on the timeline that we have for OCM. So it's hard to know if quality is getting better. Uh, that said, I think a lot of the tools we're using to help reduce costs, which Medicare can measure, are also aligned with good quality for patients. Uh, palliative care referrals, um, end of life planning, um, asking about pain and depression and hopefully doing something about that, keeping patients out of the hospital, out of the emergency room. These are all things that help reduce costs, but also should help quality and help the patient's journey. So in that way, I think it's aligned.